Can you do it? Yeah, I can do it. Do it for me. Okay, wir sind hier. Äh, sorry, ich fange nochmal an. Wir sind hier mit CBE Software, die äh, bekannt sind durch unter anderem durch Julia. Aber äh, heute haben sie im Grunde ihr neues Projekt vorgestellt, oder eigentlich gestern schon. Und wir wollen mal rauskriegen, was es damit auf sich hat. Äh, hallo, Jan und Lukas. Hey. Hey. So you just announced uh, your new project, which is called? It's called Someday You'll Return. And please tell us what you can't already tell us about what it's about. Oh, we can't. But yeah, we will tell you at least something. It's a game. And at the beginning of this game is a question. What would you do if your daughter never came home? Okay, so that's the basic premise of the game. And of course, there might be a way how you can try to track her down. And that's where the game begins. All right, so it's probably a quite serious game, looking at this uh, point. Yes, it's actually a horror game, and it's very kind of dark game, but it's also very, um, let's say, introspective kind of a way. It's not a horror as uh, jump scares and monsters going on you. It's more about uh, what it takes to be a parent, what it takes to be a father. <laughs> It's more like a psychological horror than actual jump scare horror. Yes, but it can get quite scary. Uh, is it somehow based on your own experience uh, with uh, being a father? It's based not <laughs> on my experience, I hope. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, not on the experience <laughs> of uh, having a daughter. That but is it's, it's uh, m much of it is based on my fears. So it's like I really, as someone who has three daughters, I kind of uh, have a right to think these, these questions. And uh, one thing which might be interesting is that this game gets more in a way into adventure game direction than for example Julia Among the Stars in certain aspects because this is our first game when you have an inventory. Um, so we've we've seen the trailer yesterday and this morning, and from what my impression from the trailer is that it's going to be in the direction of something like Vanishing of Ethan Carter, at least visually. Uh, so like a more explorative game. Uh, is that a right impression, or uh, is that I'm on, am I on the wrong track? Uh, it's. Uh It was actually a teaser, not a trailer. That's uh, different because we're just teasing the environment right now. So it's like based in Moravian country and Lukash will tell you more about this. But gameplay wise, uh, it's not in a way of walking simulators much. We already we considered the option to kind of use a duality control to control left and right leg, but then we <laughs> forget this idea. But uh, it's more about uh, gameplay. More if you kind of compare it, for example, to everybody who's gone to Rapture and other walking sims. In our case, you really have to uh, work out the, uh, the, the environment, you operate inventory and do some stuff we don't. We We are not plan to, uh, or planning to disclose today, but there are some uh, other principles which kind of will be quite unique for, for this game. So it's more gameplay than uh, just an exploration, although the exploration takes a big part in the game. So Lukas, uh, how are you involved in the game? You're making the graphics? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm making the graphics and I'm also um, Debating, I'm sorry, uh, on the story and on the puzzle design and and so on. But my main part is uh, is the environment and and basically all the visuals there. So uh, the game is based, as Jan said, uh, in the Czech Republic, in the Czech Republic landscape, uh, in the rocky environment of the uh, South Moravian uh, forests. Uh, so we are highly inspired by this by this environment. Uh, the uh, composition of the levels will be uh, vertical too, so no, no, no just going through some forest, but uh, uh, also climbing or climbing on the on the rocks and so on. And uh, the the story is also highly based on the on the environment and interaction in in environment. Yeah. What I got from the teaser is that you're now using Unreal Engine. Uh, so how much of a change was that for you as a graphic artist? 
Yeah, for example, from the Julia Amagda Staras, it's a huge step because we are now using uh, real-time graphics. Uh, so uh, it's completely different approach uh, to creating visuals because there are no pre-rendered uh, pre images or something. Everything is uh, is real-time, and uh, it has a big benefits of uh, of uh, like doing the stuff and doing the assets. And also, it it looks uh, stunning. The graphics in Unreal Engine are really, really cool, and the and the workflow is really easy to to set uh, some environment like this, uh, like you for see you. <laughs> for me, yeah. uh, like like you saw in the in the teaser. Yeah, so looking at the teaser, it really doesn't look like something uh, basically two persons or one graphic artist is working on. Uh, but you again doing the graphics by yourself? Yes, yes, it's all all uh, by me, and I hope we can manage it to the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it really looks uh, impressive again. So um, uh, you are uh, working on the music as well again, right? Uh, yes, uh, but please tell us that you didn't sing also the the, the soundtrack. <laughs> no, oh, I think that uh, Lukash sometimes would like to kick me, <laughs> and I would be able to sing so high, but not. But actually, this song is a uh, like a uh, based upon a folk song. It's by Gabriela Vermeliu. She is my very good friend, and we play together. And the it just teases the thing that we are really planning to use a local culture you were able to see those uh, touristic signs on the trees and stuff so we are using really the real place and the music is part of it so in this game we want to have a lot of really kind of real live recorded music there is already a lot of my cello Gabriela playing Quinton which is five string violin uh, she's singing there we are playing together so uh, I want to have a majority of the music not this VST kind of uh, virtual instruments but I want to have live instruments live recorded and really based upon the the surroundings and this also comes with my kind of more and more progressive philosophy of this interactive music so basically we want to have a really not much of the music objects in the game we want to have it really contextual and the game is more based upon the sound effects about the sound layers and less above this kind of looping or, or any other music which you already probably experienced in Julia among the stars so it's the same but going even step farther from the from Julia so we just learned that uh, you're planning to release the teaser that we've seen next Friday. Uh, when are you uh, planning to show more to the public of the game? Uh, during the next year, because we plan to finish this game end of, end of 2017. So it's kind of the target for release of this game. And during the next year we would very gradually, it will be this kind of very small drops of information because this game is uh, one big spoiler territory. Uh, there are many kind of plot twists, many of things which we don't want to reveal. So we will be very careful what to set, uh, what to tell, not to spoil the surprise. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Thank you very much for the interview and good luck with the project. Two more years to go, I guess. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye bye. Bye.